Hello everybody, this is Nayat Mir with my MDT 2010 version for System Center Configuration Manager Integration. So here you have this URL, simply you can Google it and download. Once you have your System Center Configuration Manager installed and configured. Once you installed, you simply can go and integrate which is very simple. So, here you see the icons of Deployment Workbench and Configuration Manager Integration. So, just browse it with the Deployment Workbench to make sure that you have MDT 2010 installed properly. You can also download 2013 version with Update 2 or Update 1 or you can still use 2010 MDT version. Let's go into Configuration Manager where you see my NYT site name and config mg are my domain. Uh, config mg are is actually a host name of my system center configuration manager server. On the side, I have a domain dc3 and uh, domain name will be which I'm using here uh, uh, ny1.com. Now you have to input the host name of my configuration manager and also the site name. So I am going back into my configuration manager console where I am going to pull out my site name. So you can go into your administration workspace. Click on site configuration and sites. You will see here your site name NYT. Let's verify the host name as well. I am going to show you my host name through command line. You simply can go and type a single word host name that will show you the host name or computer name which is config mgr. Now you have both options available both requirements which is a server name and a site name install the MDT console extensions option is checked also MDT task sequence actions to a configuration manager server also is checked. So all we have to do click on next but before we click on next we want to make sure that my SCCM console is not open otherwise this integration can fail. So now as you have seen my server name or host name which is running config mgr is available nyt is my site name which is available and this is my last screen where you can also see my site name my server name and my domain name so this verifies everything is perfectly configured now we can go back to sccm console or my configuration manager console just browse around, we need to go under our software library workspace. This is the date when this was last updated, which is January 19, 2017. Under software updates, you see all packages. Under operating systems, you see your operating system packages and also you can see boot images from boot images now you can see we can create a boot imaging using a microsoft deployment toolkit you have a task sequence under boot image you can create a task sequence which saves you a lot a lot a lot of minutes at configuration time are you I switched back to my DC3 which is my host name and ny.com is my domain name. Let's take a look at Active Directory console and I am going to show you my system container and my site name under system management. So this was a one of the requirements for your configuration manager. So you have to extend your schema and you have to add this new container. 
system management under system container and you add your site server here so this was the whole configuration of mdt only so you tune into my other videos to see other options thank you for watching this is anayat meer